welcome back guys right now we are on live okay and uh, today our session is going to be so much interesting because today we'll practice english with fun and entertainment okay so uh, first of all uh, uh, i'm saying something about myself this is shobhan i think uh, all you are know and uh, now uh, i'd like to request our honorable tutor mandy levans uh, uh, would you mind telling yourself please okay so my name is mando evans um i live in the united states um brooklyn new york bedstar area brooklyn is the city and new york is the state okay i've been living here for like 46 years okay and my i'll be 46 this year and so um i was trained by my white masters okay to uh, talk appropriately not like my brothers my other black black brothers who are in america so i'm like 80% on the back of the bracket i have some white friends okay you know and so i communicate with individuals by teaching them the appropriate ways pronunciation pronunciation to the correctly to um to basically so we have fun we can have fun i'm a dynamic teacher so i'm going to repeat to you all again i am not a professional teacher and what i consider a professional teaching is usually definitions upon definitions upon definitions of words which is not necessary you know if you want to go there you can take longer to study those things like verbs and nouns and and what pronouns is and all that stuff you can do that it can take but it takes more time but um i try to talk to i try to teach um the basic fundamentals of how most americans speak cuz most americans don't really care for all of the details of definitions upon definitions i'm also a comedian i'm a father i'm a travel figure i travel to ethiopia I talk to hundreds of individuals from Bangladesh, Nigeria, Ethiopia cuz I lived out there. And of course I make my own videos. Okay? And so okay, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you Mandy Levan sir uh, for giving your intro. Uh, so now I'd like to request uh, Tado. Uh can you uh give your intro please in here? Okay. Uh first of all thank you uh to Hassan for your invitations and Nice to meet you all here. My name is Tadda Bromsali. I'm from Thailand and um my hometown is located in Songkhla, uh south of Thailand. So I was working as a full-time employee before and since uh February uh I'm unemployed now. So just staying at home and find something to do on online is like a uh, uh selling online trader something like that yep so nice yeah, to meet great. you uh, yeah thank you thank you for giving your intro in here so rubaid brother are you hearing us uh, can you uh, give your intro please in here yep uh thank you shobhan kri hear me actually i'm not using my microphone that's why i'm facing a lot of problem kri hear me clearly yeah we are hearing you please uh, give short intro about yourself okay okay thank you uh, shobhan for giving me this chance to say something about myself actually uh this is me rubaid bin jaman and i'm a student of the bangalore university of modern science and technology university is a public university in the bangladesh and um i'll leave at kapalgans okay i think he's facing internet problem so a man living sir and uh, to, uh, today i already told you today we'll practice english with fun and entertainment and uh, Today here we also can uh, make some lark. Uh, so, what's your opinion, Manny Levin, sir? Well, I think this is great that we're doing this, okay? But um, just remember, even though I'm a comedian, I'm funny and stuff, I don't always. I just got up. You know what time it is over here, right? It's like about seven o'clock. Oh yeah. Okay. So I mean, oh, it's so much funny. early, it's early, yeah, yeah. It's so much okay. early, okay. All right. So I just want you to understand. I I, I just didn't. I just got up, okay. just for you because we talk from time to time okay and other than that you know i just hope everything goes fine cuz y'all y'all all should have something to talk about and it's very important to have something to talk about because it's more you listen the more you learn slow and steady wins the race slow and steady wins the race yeah that's right uh, actually uh, i think uh, i read the story story okay uh, there was a tortoise and here am i right A what? Uh, there was tortoise. Okay, tortoise. Tortoise moved very slowly, but here uh, moved yeah. very fastly. Okay, I think okay. you you read the story. 
Okay, you talking about the story in the head, the hair. Yeah, 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 right. Oh, That's okay. right. You talking about the story of that tortoise and the hair. <laughs> okay, okay. I was just wondering. I was like, wait, tortoise, gay okay. tortoise, gay. Okay. It's not just a tortoise, okay. But go ahead. Tada, Tada, did you uh, did you read the story? Um, the tortoise uh, competitions. You mean? Yeah, the right. Story? Tortoise competition. With the rabbit or something, if I'm yes. right or wrong, yeah, I heard when I was a uh, shy. I think. Yeah, right, right. Uh, I think uh, tortoise and uh, here competition there was, uh, but uh, tortoise though tortoise moving very slowly, but uh, tortoise won on the race. Am I right, Manny Levin, sir? Yes. the The whole basis of the story was the hare felt confident that he was going to win. But the hare was playing around, okay, throughout the whole entire story because he did various things thinking that the tortoise would never catch up, okay? And so what happens is that he got distracted and he eventually went to sleep. The, 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 the hare went to sleep. Uh, yeah, went to sleep. Yeah. And when he went to sleep, okay, the tortoise eventually passed him by, okay? And the tortoise okay, actually right won. now watching about 50 person in here, so uh, if you if you have any opinion, guys, uh, you can comment in here. And here we have uh, uh, two special first person, one from uh, Thailand, he is Tadai, and another man delivers uh, from America. Okay, uh, I think this session is going to be so much interesting. And uh, now adding another person. Yeah. Okay, CMS uh, coming. Okay, CMS, he's from Nigeria. CMS, uh, how about you? Can you give an intro about yourself, please, in here? Yeah, hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is CMS, and I am joining you guys from Nigeria. Hi. Hello from Nigeria, from America to Nigeria. Is yes. that early as well, yes, in the morning? Yes, yes, it's morning here. Okay. So, okay, I already so, told you today we'll practice uh, some uh, Bengali word in English, okay? And uh, this session is going to be so much interesting and funny. So, first of all, I'd like to request Manny Levens. Uh, can you can you speak with me? Like, uh, how are you, Kubai? Can you speak with me, please? Yes, yes. Um, if, you have, if you have loud noise in the background, you can mute your mic. That's the first thing, because when I'm talking, I get distracted. So mute your mic, and so you can still hear. So you should mute your mic, okay? Hello? Yeah, I'm hearing. Please, uh, can you speak with me? I don't know. Yes. So from where this uh, noise is coming, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, okay so try to speak with me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to some uh, teach you Bengali word, okay? Uh, you are an English teacher. But I'm I'm I will teach you some Bengali word. Okay, can you speak with me? Are you Pubai, please, Mandy Levin? This is your turn. Are you Pubai, Can you speak with me? All right. Are you Pubai, Try to speak with me. Are you gotta you gotta break Are it down? Pubai. You have to break it down in syllables because I can't say the whole thing real quick. Okay, my memory is okay. not that great today. <laughs> so basically, okay. you gotta slow down. Say it syllable at a time. Okay, that is Try to speak with me. Are you Pubai? No, that is Are you Pubai? Are you Jabang? No, no. That is Are you Pubai? Are you Jabang? Oh, no, that is not that. That is, are you Pubai? Are you Pubai? What does uh, that mean? Anyway? Try to speak that? with me. What, that is, why, why, uh, why are you saying that? Are what does that mean? Show when it speaks slowly. Okay, I'll tell you then, after uh, finishing this. Then, try to catch. Okay. Yeah, uh, actually, Opu uh, is a TikTok celebrity in our country. But uh, I think uh, a lot of people criticize him for this matter. Uh, we are trying to copy him, okay? Uh, like, uh, are you, Pubai? Try to speak with me. Are 
A A O P O P R A O P I Bhai I are not hi that is bhai okay are o bhai A P U I <laughs> okay okay that's okay that's fine and now tada is it your time okay now okay, try uh, okay. is it your time okay okay it's your time try to speak are o bhai Oh okay, <laughs> you you're totally okay. You could say okay. Again, again, again. Oh okay, <laughs> that was great. And C M S, that is your turn. C M S, that is your turn. Are you Kuwait? Are you Kuwait? Again, 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 please. Are you Kuwait? Again. Are you Kuwait? Oh, okay. Ah, that's great. That's yes, that sounds great. <laughs> so, what's the meaning? And Rubai, that is your time. I, I'll say the meaning, okay? Uh, Rubai, that is your time. Okay. okay? Try to say, Ah, Rio Puhai. Ah, Rio Puhai. Okay, that is totally okay. And I'm, I'm saying the meaning right now. Actually, uh, actually, Opu uh, is a TikTok celebrity in our country, okay? And a lot of people copy copy him for fun, okay? And for learn and in, uh, and entertainment, okay? Uh, as a as a entertainer, I think a lot of people follow him, okay? For this matter, we are copying him, okay? Ah, Opu by means uh, like that you are saying, uh, hey, Mandelivans, okay? That is the meaning of Ah, Opu by. Like I'm calling Opu, okay? That is the meaning, okay? Now we can go to the next run. Can you can you speak with me like uh, Aho Bhatija? Manilivan, that is your time, sir. Aho Bhatija, can you speak with me, please? Ho Bhatija. Yeah, uh, just wait. I'm I'm saying you, okay? Aho Bhatija. Aho uh, Bhatija. Oh, <laughs> not teacher. That is Bhatija. Aho Bhatija. Oh, Aho Bhatija. Oh no no. <laughs> that is Aho Bhatija. Aho Bhatija. What is that? Yeah, Bain. that's correct. Right, right, right. Okay, uh, you could uh, complete your mission. And now I'm going to the Sadoi. Sadoi, can you can you say please? Aho Bhatija. Aho Bhatija. <laughs> Again, please. Wait, wait. Her, her, her mic is muted. muted. Her oh, mic is fine. muted. Wait, I'm turning on your microphone. Just wait. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, now you. Now it is your turn. Try to say Aho Bhatija. Aho Bhatija. Oh, <laughs> that was great. That was great. Again, please. Aho Bhatija. Aho Bhatija. Oh, okay. That's great. That's great. Sounds great. And uh, CMS. That is your turn. CMS, that is your turn. Try to say Aho Bhatija. Aho Bhatija. Oh, okay. That's totally okay. Yeah, you could uh, in fast time. Uh, yeah, that's great. So, Mandeliman sir, can you tell again Aho Bhatija? Aho Bhatija. Oh, okay. <laughs> you could remember. That's great. That's great. Okay, fine. So, now I'm going to the next mission. And now I'd like to because Tad, I try to speak with me. Hishabu Jona, can you say with me? Like I'm saying, you okay? Hishab, try Hishab. to speak with me. He, Bujo, 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 Na, 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 Na. Okay, fine. Now uh, make the full sentence, okay? Isha Bojona. Isha Bojona. Oh, okay. That's great. That was great. And Mandy Levin, sir, that is your turn. Try to speak Isha Bojona. Isha Bojona. Sir, that is... No, no, no. Isha Bojona. <laughs> Isha Bojona. Mm, that's correct. Okay, <laughs> fine. Okay, fine. You could complete your mission. And... Uh, uh, C M S. That is your turn. Okay. Uh, try to speak okay. with me. That is Hisha Bujona. Hisha Bujona. Oh, okay. That's great. That sounds great. Okay. I think, uh, Madeline, sir, are you enjoying this session right now? What's your opinion? Can we 
I make more sentence. Okay. We are basically, you know, trying to entertain and have fun. That's all. It's okay. Yeah, right. Tada, what's your opinion? Uh, can you can you make this conversation long uh, about uh, uh, practicing English in fun with fun? Um, yeah, at least uh, learn your language, learn the new language. Even cannot remember all, but yeah, happy to learn your language, and um, I'm glad that at least uh, English mother tongue is here. So I also can practice my English getting better because Mendel and CMS is here, I think. <laughs> yeah, actually right now watching about 70 people, okay, in here. So uh, guys, if you have any opinion, you can comment in here. And uh, there uh, we got some, com we got some com comment in here. Uh, Rubel Khan commented, Are you up, okay, thank you. And Smile Hussein, Aho Aho, he told. And uh, Ferdus Hassan also commented, uh, that is, oh, okay, fine. Uh, I think uh, that is so much great live in here and a lot of people right now watching about 70 persons. Uh, that's amazing, okay. And uh, my uh, my next question uh, to uh, Mandel events are, okay. And to try to speak with me, that is uh, Thuy. Mandel events are, that is your turn. Thuy. Okay. Thuy. Try to speak with me. Thuy. Ki, Tui, Ki, T, Ama, Amare, Ama, Footpath, Tui, Ah, No, no, Tui, Ki, Amare, Footpath, and Mustang Paisot. I will say it, okay? Tui, try to speak with me, Tui, Tui, Ki, T, Amare, Arame. Not Arame, Amare. It, it is Amare. 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 Okay, yeah. Yeah, right, right. It's Amare. Ki. T. Ki, try. Footpath. Footback. <laughs> oh, actually, it is difficult, okay? I think it's so much long sentence uh, you can't uh, say as you are foreigner. So, uh, so I think uh, another sentence we can try. That is uh, Tata Uutran, okay? Amar moto hote chao, like that. Amar moto ota chao. Yeah, again, please. Amar moto hote chao. Amar moto ota chao. Oh, again, please. Amar moto hote chao. Amar moto ota chao. Amar moto ota chao. Okay, fine. Amar moto ota chao. Again, please. Amar moto hote chao. Amar moto ota chao. See, yeah, right, okay, fine. Uh, and um, uh, CMS that is U Tran Chapa Baji Corona Cha CMS U that is U Tran that is Chapa Baji CMS that is U Tran that is Chapa Baji again, again, please. Uh, oh, okay, that's right. That means. Okay, right. You are right. And uh, Tada, it's your turn. Chapa baji corona. Chapa baji corona. Chapa baji okay. corona. Chapa baji corona. <laughs> she got a Don't bite your tongue. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> actually, I forgot. <laughs> Keep repeating. <laughs> you can roll. You see, the rolling of the tongue is very difficult. Most Americans don't do that. The rolling of the tongue, that's from birth. Oh. You know, you really, no one can run, roll their tongue unless they're yeah. Mexican you know, Latino or Spanish in America, okay? The rolling of the tongue, okay? Very hard to do. <laughs> Go ahead. Go okay, ahead, fine. So I think that uh, now we can go into our practice in English and uh, we already uh, uh, made a lot of fun, okay? That was so much great, Steam. And so many elements are, uh, uh, now we can suggest us something, how we can improve our English and uh, uh, what's your opinion of which accent we should follow for practicing English? Well, since America, there's no such thing as an American accent, okay? Um, <laughs> there, are two, there are too many, there are too many accents that come from your country and abroad to make America the way it is, as diverse as it is. So slow and steady wins the race. 
everyone has their own uh, practice method. So basically, some people can learn by listening. Some people learn by speaking. Some people learn by writing down. Okay? You know, it, there's no uh, a rush to learn every little technical word, you know, like a noun, an adjective, and a compound, okay? Just understand it's a memory thing. It's memory. Uh, most Americans only speak like at least about 500 to 1,000 words, and they put them in many complex variations. So slow and steady wins the race, okay? Yeah, right. Okay, fine. So my my next question is uh, CMS, uh, okay? And CMS, what's your opinion? Uh, which accent do you follow? You are from Nigeria, so can you tell me which accent do you follow and what's your official language? Yes, we in Nigeria here, yeah, most of us, we use uh, the British accent. But some other part of Nigeria, we do use the American accents too. So we can still go on with the American accent. I think that is okay for now. So that the rest can be following up. Let me let me explain something to you. Um, Really, I don't have an accent because I was trained. I told you before, I've been trained by my white masters about the accent. Accent gets in the way. So if you're Nigerian, you can have your accent and live in America. If you're uh, from British, Britain, or you from Spain, or you from Germany, or from Russia, you can have your accent. But if you eliminate that accent, all it breaks down to is English. Okay? So learning English sure. is the most important part. It's not about your accent. It's about your accent, English. Sure. Okay. Your English. That is it. Sure. You're right. Because, you know, in New York, they talk like this. Hey, how you been in New York? What you doing in New York? Okay. Yes. What you you my car for, man? What you doing? Yes. Now, I don't, I, don't, I don't sound like them because I feel like that's kind of like not appropriate. It's not really appropriate to speak like that, you know? And they'll be like, what you yes, doing sure. over here? It's a, it's a, there's an emotion that goes behind those accents. And if you can eliminate sure, that sure. accent, then you understand. I understand your culture by you speaking that accent. Okay, you see. But if you speak straight words, if you pronunciate pronunciate your words correctly, then people will see you probably different. Okay. Okay. My next question is to Tadou. Sure. Uh, you are from Malaysia, okay? No, Thailand. 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 You're, you're, okay, Thailand. Fine. So, so what's your opinion about accent? Which accent do you follow? Um. Uh, let me tell you about my background English first. So uh, actually, I don't have um, any knowledge about English speaking, right? I learned a lot of grammar, adjective, verb, and so on from high school through university. But the problem is I never ever use it in practical or in reality. So I have the big issue. It means I can't communicate with the foreigner. But I understand what they say to me, but I can't have a conversation back. So what I'm do with myself, so I asked my mom to send me to study in overseas or in abroad. So I study English from Australia. All right. So I learning by doing. I mean, I study in the class, but for me, it's important. I have to use it in real. So in each day, I spend the time with the foreigner, so I practice, keep practicing every day and every day. That's why how I learn it. But my grammar and my writing still not that good, you know. But my conversation getting better because uh, I'm because of practical, keep practicing something like that. But um, accents for me. I, I don't know which accent I am, you know, pronounced. It depends. Somebody so say, far, ah, so are you from, sounds, study so from like Australia? You you, you, so far, you don't sound like you have an accent. You sound pretty good, okay? Oh, thank you. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe mixing depends on the person I'm talking to. Sometimes I'm talking to Philippine. Maybe my accent is sound like Filipino. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, actually, uh, as like Tada, in Bangladesh, uh, we also uh, don't know which accent right now you're following. Actually, sometimes we follow American accent and sometimes we follow the British accent. 
but uh, we can't sometimes we can't gauge that which accent we are following. So, Madam Levin sir, what's your opinion about it? How we can figure out that which accent we are following? Well, Should you we can follow, follow any specific your, accent. You can follow your own accent. As I said before, an accent is a part of your culture. It's a part of your emotion. It's a part of how you raised. It's a part of how you imitate your fellow man or your fellow family member. Um, I don't follow those rules. Uh, if you want to learn English, you must say it appropriately without the accent. Accent is just part of your culture, how you imitate your fellow brother or your, your family member. It's, it's an emotional thing. And so I, pra I practice with my, my masters or my teachers, I, what I call them, so I can appropriate my words correctly and pristine and clearly and sharply. You see how I say my words? There is no, no echo. I have no echo with my English. Okay. Okay, that's great. Okay, my my next question is uh, to uh, to Mandelivan sir again. That do you think uh, for improving our English, we should follow grammar, or do you think uh, without following grammar we can speak in English very fluently? Well, basically, everyone has their own way of learning. If you want to speak it, you know, I have a friend, his name is Syed Yemen, okay? You you know who Syed Yemen is, right? Okay. And so yeah, I know, he, I know about Syed Yemen. He speaks, he speaks six different accents. And he told me that he has trained for two to three hours. And I said, I, I don't even know. I only know like about two or three accents, but he knows like six to seven accents. And um, since he tra trained so much, he he wrote down a lot. No, he knows how to write. Okay, he knows how to talk. So by training in various departments, by training in all different fields, like by listening, by writing, okay, and by rehearsing, you can actually get good. You get good by practicing. Like me, I get on the basketball court and I throw hook shots at the three point line. That's a, that takes years. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting it down. It's going in. My shots are going in. You know? So everyone has their own way of learning. Okay? Mm. There is no, there is no okay, best way, so, there's no best way of learning because you may learn by listening better. And you, some people learn by writing and some people learn by rehearsing. Okay? Okay, fine. My next question is Chadoi, okay? And you already told that uh, right now you are English learner. And uh, uh, as for my analysis, say that you can speak in English very fluently. Can you tell me that? Uh, uh, do you follow grammar for speaking English fluently? Sorry, Sorry can you repeat again for the question, please? Okay. okay, my question is: You can speak in English fluently, as for my analysis say. And uh, what's your suggestion? For speaking in English, uh, should we follow grammar or uh, without grammar? Can we speak in English fluently? What's your opinion? Um, if you speak it correctly, refer to grammar. For my opinion, it's good, nothing bad, so it means perfect. But um, uh, I still concerned about as long as, for example, I have the communication, communication with CMS, and then he understand what I'm trying to say. For me, it's okay. You understand my point? So it's yeah, like, I um, yeah. Even me, I have been studying and learning for such a long time, but I still make a mistake because not my basic language is not my English master tongue, but I'm learning by uh, listening and repeating the word that I'm hearing. For example, like Mandel say, um, I can remember some vocabulary by listening to somebody else saying it, you know? Once I never heard and then what, is, what does it mean? I keep repeat and asking and then the next day, I remember this word and learning by repeating and listening. That's the my way. Yes, yeah, yes. that's I great. I also think so. Too. I even make mistakes too when I still talk English. You know, just a little while ago, Kim told me that you know the appropriate way to 
pronounce the word is pronunciation, not pronunciation. Because most Americans say pronunciation. Most Americans say chocolate instead of chocolate. Okay, but you don't. You have to understand. No one is perfect when they when they talk English all of the time. You know, it's okay to make mistakes. Yeah, and we learn from the mistake. By the way, <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, actually, yeah. actually, I just try to say. Uh, Tado already told that uh, when uh, like that. Right now, I'm speak speaking with CMS. Okay. Yeah. And uh, okay, he's my new friend. I'm I'm just uh, I'm not an English uh, tutor or speaker, but I'm trying to communicate with him as he's a foreigner. But uh, yeah, I'm speaking. Uh, uh, but yep. I'm making a lot of grammatical mistake. But I'm speaking with him. But He's understanding me. I think that's my success of his speaking. Am I right, Mandy yes. Levinson? Yes, I understand you. You know, you, you you may have some 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 words that may get misconstrued a little bit, but it's the key elements in the sentence. You pause. You usually pause at the sentences, so I can understand you. Okay. 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 Fine. Uh, that's good. Okay. Uh, and my next question is CMS. Okay. So CMS, uh, you live in uh, Nigeria. So, uh, do you face any problem when you uh, listen other person uh, or when you listen American? Do you face any problem? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't face any problem because we do as an accent mixture here. Yeah, then we we have different of accent in Nigeria, so I don't face any problem. I do understand them good. You got me. Uh, let me say something. On, let me say, let me say about. Um, let me say something about I I, tr I, I teach uh, some Nigerians English, and guess what? Okay, sometimes I'll tell them to say one syllable, and they'll say like three syllables. You know, in Nigeria, I'll say, uh, "Can you say the word cat to me?" Uh, I see him. Say this. Say this one thing. Say the word cat. 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 Okay, yeah, but there's some Nigerians I've talked to who went through universities. They were trained by Britons, uh, British English. And they will say cat is cat, cat is cat. Okay, they have some <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, what do you do? I said say cat. And they say cat is cat. I'm like, no, I did. I said cat like meow. Okay. And they'll just say it with three <laughs> syllables. And um, this happens uh, sometimes cat. when they're so used to. Yeah, they say cat. Okay, like a cat meow. Uh, Mandel, you know, you know, Nigeria is a very is a very big country. We have as a very big region that we have different places and. Especially people from the northern Nigeria, they as in they find it difficult to speak English. You understand? Even uh -huh. in the school, maybe they, after graduating from universities and the rest, you see they are still speaking bad English. Even if they go to American and stay there, but the English you see before. But those of us from the south and the eastern part of Nigeria, at least we do speak good. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's great. That's great. Uh, and uh, uh, Tudia, I'd like to finish here. We already talked. Uh, and half hours, uh, so I think we, we should finish in here. So uh, I'd like to request Mandy Levin, sir. Uh, can you uh, give your funny intro again, please? Would you mind, please, uh, giving your funny intro again? Like My that part of guys is. Uh, you should go <laughs> yeah, into the is... comment section. Go into the comment section because sometimes they're talking in the comment section. So yeah. you should just make sure you focus on the people because I, I try yeah, to. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, Abidi, Abidi told. Uh, Impressive as you could, okay? He told. Impressive no, as improvise. you could. Improvise. He say improvise. Oh, improvise. Yeah, I right. Improvise. Yeah, that's that was my bad. Okay, sorry, I couldn't uh, uh, <laughs> saw it properly. Okay, that's my bad. Sorry for this matter. Okay, so uh, I'd like to request Mandy Levin, sir. Uh, yeah, but can that's you the, give your funny that's intro, please? To write that sentence that way is inaccurate. Okay, that's one you to know that. To improvise, improvise as you could is wrong. That's the wrong way of writing that. So I just want you to understand that. There's another way of writing that. Okay. And improvise means to like fix. I think that's what it means. Try not to use complex words because if you use complex words, you're going to need more words to express that word. Yeah, everything is revolving around improvise. Okay. Okay, fine. So I'd like to request Manny Levin, sir. Uh, can you give your funny intro like that? What's up, what's up, guys? This is Manny Levin, and we'll come to my praise. Uh, can you give this intro, please? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, I have YouTube pages in which I talk about random <laughs> subjects, okay? And I usually start off this uh, intro, okay, because I don't like, a lot of people can't pay attention. 
And I throw a lot of people off because I don't want a lot of attention. I don't need it. Okay. So this is how my intro is. Okay. It goes, hello, brothers and sisters. I'm like, welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is my common sense. I try to keep it down underneath the gate under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, it's going to be very, 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 very fucking important. And not important to liberals, libertarians, people moving up. People like to smoke. We like to drink. Are you And it may sound like I'm rapping, but I'm not really rapping. I talk very deeply. And of course, if you can hear every syllable of those words, you're pretty, you have a good ear. And most people can't pay attention. I'll say some cruel, a cruel thing to throw people off until after that intro. Once you, I say, uh, please leave your message after the comments, questions, insults, or roast fest and put it down below. And everything will be monitored, screened, and approved. And I will put that to you in. And that's my intro of when I, I talk on my uh, YouTube pages. And so, uh, as I said before, it's very informative and very uh, comical because I talk kind of crazy. I do that on purpose because it's a method of my method, you know? Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mary Levin, sir, for giving you intro in here. Actually, I think a lot of people right now watching and they are enjoying uh, this session. And thank you very much, Mary Levin, sir. And uh, uh, I would like to finish uh, uh, by taking uh, Tadoy and CMS opinion. What do you think? How was this slide? Can you tell us, please? Um, for me, first of all, it's very good to share, to mix the peoples from everywhere in each country around the world. And at least you have uh, one native speaker in here because uh, they can give you an advice um, how to speak or write or do the right things in English or as am Thai. So I can get improved and getting better by their advice. And um, yeah, as the medal say, um, I'm, I do agree to ask the people leave the comment to uh, improve in the future what is their suggestions to make the um, your facebook more interesting yeah that's my yeah, right you're thing. right yeah that's oh yeah i just I want, I want to understand that to find me just look up mandel evans on facebook eventually if you find me send me your friend request you'll know my two uh, groups that i usually have i try to keep myself very private but i have a public group and i have a private group okay Mandel Evans is how you find me, okay? Okay, fine. That's great. And uh, Tato, you can join uh, your Mandel Evans group. I'm also in there. And uh, there uh, we have native speaker, and we can learn a lot of things from this group. Yeah, uh, I think okay, uh, sure. Tato will join. Oh, okay. My my uh, next, uh, uh, last, at last, I'd like to request CMS. Uh, what's your opinion about this live stream? Can you tell uh, in a brief, please? Yes, I'll, I'll suggest you maybe before maybe starting a life like this, you just give us a link so that we can share the link maybe on our pages. As you know, I have maybe a, as an, a big fan page that people can come and maybe watch and make the life more interesting and maybe you have more streaming so that it will go viral. Go ahead. Hassan? Yeah, I'm here, please. Are you with me? Are you there? Okay, so so that it will, if it will be going viral and more people will come and be streaming it. So that is just the little advice maybe I have to share to you. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, so I would like to thank everybody for watching this live and I think everybody enjoyed this live very much and today, uh, uh, I was Shobhan, uh, I'm Shobhan and uh, with me, uh, 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 Mandy Levenser and Chitradoy and CMS. I think you all enjoyed this live very much. And uh, in next day, if we got chance, get chance again, so we can make another live. I think everybody will enjoy. And uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this live stream. So I'd like to finish here by uh, saying bye-bye. Try to say everybody bye-bye, Chitradoy, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. Yeah, bye bye, Mandy Levinson. Bye bye. Yeah, bye for now. Bye.